Thank you. Congratulations. Obviously, a very, uh, very entertaining fight tonight. A big win for you. Uh, how, how are you feeling after that performance? Feeling great. Feeling great. Thank you very much. Uh, that was a game plan, you know. Unfortunately, I, I didn't finish. I really wanted to get a finish because it's been all my other fights are first round finishes, and you know, even in kickboxing and different sports, karate, they knew me with a lot of chaos. Uh, I still don't have any UFC to finish. I'm a little bit upset with that, but uh, I think that was a good fight. It was a great fight. I mean, did you feel like you were close? I mean, obviously his, his leg was chopped up. You dropped him as well. I mean, did you think, like, I'm, I'm going to finish him? Yeah, because uh, first of all, in the first round, I felt uh, he was a hurt. Uh, and left kick was really bad for him. But same time, my right leg, when I kicked, he checked a couple of times, and I got... Uh, a few weeks ago, like a week ago, I hurt my right uh, ankle and uh, got swollen right away. So I was not able to do a couple of more kicks with my right leg. Otherwise, I knew I would I would just uh, finish with low kick. But and then in third round, I mean, I dropped him and I, I got excited. But yeah, it is what it is. I got W. I'm super happy with that. And against a guy that was undefeated, right? Does that add something to it? Does it? Not really for me. You know, they are all undefeated. The defeated. It doesn't matter for me. They feel that they are the top strikers and stuff, but uh, it's nothing for me. You know, uh, I fought many undefeated fighters, and he's just one of them. I got a much respect with, for this guy, uh, with because uh, he's a tough guy. Uh, when they called me for this fight, I didn't even knew who I was fighting, you know? Like, they offered me, because I, I got, a, in August, COVID, and they took me out from the fight. So I just ex was excited to fight anybody. You know, I didn't, didn't matter who it was. And then uh, I checked this guy out, and he was like, oh, lightweight guy coming down first time. Nobody wanted to fight him. And I was like, no matter who is he, you know? I feel like uh, I am, one of the top top five guys. Um, I don't see anybody standing in front of me. Of course, everyone going to have a game plan of a little exchange in a strike and then take me down and maybe submit me, which doesn't happen no more. You know, I, I train crazy. I try to ask my teammates, you know. You guys know Benil, Kelvin, Marvin, Fabricio, all those guys you guys know. And I just ask them how hard and how much uh, I train. I, I probably I trained the most because I knew and I know I have to learn the Jiu Jitsu and wrestling well if I want to be a champion. And I'm already there. Yeah. Were you guys talking a little bit in there? Was there a little trash talk going on between you? Uh, first round was kind of, I like it. <laughs> I, was, I said, I like it too. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it was fun, you know, like guy stuff. Uh, he wanted to show me that he can take my low kicks, but I knew no. <laughs> and um, yeah, after I, I saw in his fights, he was like kind of, you know, he kicks and ah, he screams and stuff to make the, himself like ah, wake it, wake it up, and also other people that kind of maybe scared. I don't know. I'm not scared of anyone, you know. So it was kind of fun to fight this guy. Nice. Last thing for me, as you say, you have a nice record in the UFC. You feel like you're top five. I mean, got a little bit of damage here. What's what's next for you? Do you want to take some time off? Do, are there names you want to fight? Are there time, what's what's next for you? Uh, you know, I was kind of, I was never the guy who was calling out the people. But um, last few times, I, I throw the name Edson Barbosa because he just... He was new in featherweight, and um, he lost three in a row before. And uh, I won three in a row, so maybe that would be a good matchup, you know. But unfortunately, he didn't engage uh, on, on my calling out. <laughs> he didn't say shit. <laughs> Sorry for the word. But <laughs> no, I don't know, man. Uh, anyone, top 15, anyone. Um, I won my spot there. I feel I deserve already there. I want to see myself next week in top 15. And we go from there. Anybody. Uh, I just want a good fight. Um, I can fight wrestler and jiu-jitsu guy too. No problem. I just, uh, why I was calling Edson was because uh, I want some exciting fight. 
uh, that's what people remember, you know, and uh, I'm a people's champ. Um, I'm not champ officially. I was not even a champ in glory. I got multiple different you know, uh, kickboxing world championship, but always uh, champions were running from me. So uh, uh, I know there is steps in UFC to go to reach title fight, but yeah, anybody, man. I'm excited to f have big, big fight, call main event, main event, you know, main card, some special guy, uh, special fights. You know, I'm a special guy. I can do anything. I can fly from the cage and <laughs> stuff. I don't know. Um, I know a lot of people were doubting me, and maybe still they do. But that's why I'm here to prove that they are wrong. You know. Right here, uh, a lot was made on the broadcast of the no glove touch at the beginning of the fight. Was there anything to that, or did you just? No, I just don't touch anybody's gloves for the beginning. I got respect after before. Before the fight, we would just go and do fight, you know. Uh, in my country, they say that hello for hello is for everyone, for enemies. And I say hello, but no touching, no hugs, because uh, before UFC, you know, I was fighting other show, and once what happened to me, a guy tried to shake my hands, I went, I touched the hand, and then the guy didn't touch the hand and shoot right away, you know. I don't know what, what's gonna happen, so. Uh, I don't want anybody to take me down or kind of, you know, I don't trust anyone inside the cage while I'm fighting. After that, we can hug each other, we can smile, we can have fun, and maybe have a drink too. And this, this black eye you, you have on your right now, do you remember the, the punch or the kick that, that caused that? I think it was a jab. Same time I got caught him in, with the jab and he caught me with the jab. Maybe it was a second round at end or beginning, beginning of the, probably was the end of the second round. And then your coach is obviously training with Mike Tyson right now in preparation for his camp. You were obviously throwing a lot of heat in there, specifically with your hands. Did any of that have to do with what your coach brought over to your training? For sure, for sure. Master Rafael is training with Tyson. That's, uh, that's a blessing for not only for him, it's for everyone, you know. Like, we, we, everyone wants uh, Mike's little piece, you know, <laughs> Tyson's piece. So uh, me and Master Rafael, we always um, talk privately after that, not only privately, also he shares his experience. Um, and um, yeah, we get some techniques from him too, like special techniques. I, I was a big fan of Tyson since uh, childhood. When I was, uh, when I used to live in Tbilisi, Georgia, me, my dad, my friends, we were waking up like 5 a.m., 6 a.m. to watch his fight live. And uh, we were checking uh, his technique. So, I always uh, was wondering and knew like some technique how to do, and uh, since he's um, Rafael is uh, coaching uh, Tyson now, I always sit with him and ask him like, is it like that? Is it like that? And then he got all the answers from him, and then so uh, we talk and we're just sharing the knowledge. Have you got to watch Mike Tyson train during his camp? Uh, I didn't watch him to train. I was invited but I had to do my training. So, unfortunately, not yet. I know him personally. Uh, we met a couple of times, we hang out. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna say what we did else together, but <laughs> <laughs> we had some fun. <laughs> uh, real quick, I wanna give a big shout out to my coaches again, uh, King's MMA, Chaser Dream Performance Institute, uh, nutritionist Matteo DiCaprio, thank you, Michael Paris Wrestling, Nolan Tickman, Mal Simpson, my uh, corner mess, and also big shout out to my supporters, Petrokas, Acharabet, Saigon Sports Club. Saigon Sports Club, regards to everyone there, thank you for always supporting me, and uh, also, models, models company just became a big supporter of me. Sakartolos Gaumar, just give them Mokitram till Sakartolos. Cheers to Georgia.